ask you this. Do you know what the anthropic principle is? Nope, never heard of it. Okay, then, here goes. Basically, this is the theory that the universe is the way it is right now simply because human beings could observe it and determine that it was the way it is. So did you get all that? I didn't get any of it. How about I observe, therefore the universe is, or something along those lines. In other words, on this particular world, there are sentient beings that are called humans. Now then, by discovering the laws of physics in constants, human beings can observe the fact that the universe actually exists at all. When that happens, the existence of the universe becomes apparent. Therefore, we can say, if the human beings who observed the universe hadn't actually evolved as far as they did, then there wouldn't be any observations, and the universe wouldn't have anyone to acknowledge its existence. So it wouldn't really matter if the universe existed or not. The universe is because human beings know it is. Anyway, that's the reasoning from the human perspective. You're kidding, right? I mean, with or without humans, the universe is still the universe. Well, that's also correct. Therefore, the anthropic principle isn't anything more than a speculative theory. However, this theory does bring up an interesting dilemma. Why was the universe created in such a way that human beings could survive in it? It would only take a slight change in the gravitational constant or particle mass ratio for the universe to not allow a planet like the Earth to exist. Okay, you sound like one of those pamphlets from some kooky religion that's into science and technology. Actually, I don't really believe that humans were created by a god or some omnipotent being. With all I've seen, something like that doesn't make sense. I say that, but I still have doubts. About what? Sometimes I get the feeling that we're all just a bunch of clowns standing on our tiptoes at the edge of a great abyss. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Look, I don't...